the big news this week is the four big faith-based aged care and retirement village operators, the Anglicans, the Baptists, the Catholics and Uniting, taking the gloves off with the federal government. This is big for village operators. They are threatening to actively lobby marginal seats to change votes at the next federal election when the government only has a margin of three seats. The message is clear. They want the Royal Commission report into aged care adopted, not shelved. The timing is very calculated. This is the first proper sitting week of the full parliament. Those marginal seat holders will be knocking on Mr Morrison's door. It is also two weeks before the Royal Commission report. The media will be looking at the recommendations and asking the government if it will support them given the marginal seat threat and the budget is just 12 weeks away. Remember, the government has to say how much they will give the sector this year, but also how much they intend to invest across the four-year forward estimates. There is little room to hide your intentions. So, what would you do if you were Scott Morrison? Would you stare down your marginal members? Would you risk losing the election, saying older Australians are valued, but not that much? Or would you make aged care reform your legacy as Prime Minister? If you are betting on the last outcome, get ready for rapid change over the next three years, including retirement living. The Commissioners want innovation in housing and support. Will you lead this or be sidelined? Our advice, learn more about the Royal Commission recommendations fast. You can do that at our Leaders' Summit. We have 40 CEOs speaking who will unpack the Royal Commission report and fast track your understanding. It's being held 20 days after the release of the report, which is now very real. Please join us. The future of retirement living and aged care, it's important.